Hello and welcome to another one of my Chapeau Shorts. In this video, I will be talking about the 2024 Summer Olympic mascots. The 2024 Summer Olympic Games are going to be held in Paris, and recently, the mascots for the event have been presented. These little fellows, nicknamed Les Friges. Now they've been compared to many things, but they are in fact, as you might have guessed from the fact that I'm talking about it on my channel, hats. Specifically, this hat, the Phrygian cap. The Phrygian cap is a soft hat that originates in the ancient region of Phrygia, in what is now Turkey, and was popular around the Hellenistic world. Many centuries later, in the late Renaissance, it became something of a symbol of liberty, especially when on top of a large staff. This is because it was associated with the similar and related pilos, which was an attribute of the goddess Libertas, the Roman goddess of freedom. This is because freed slaves in Roman times were given a pileus as a symbol of their manumission. As the century went on, especially in enlightened circles, the symbol was used particularly in progressive or revolutionary movements, including in the United States during the Revolutionary War. But it was really embraced as a symbol during the French Revolution in 1789, where it was worn by many of the people who, for example, stormed the Bastille and beheaded many noblemen, but also espoused new ideas like liberty, equality, and fraternity. Through the influence of the American and French revolutions, it was also popularized throughout South America, where it still appears on many countries' seals. The Phrygian cap has a close association with the French Republic and its ideals of liberty, to the point where it is worn by the symbolic personification of France, Marianne. Thus, when the organizers of the new Olympic Games wanted to find a symbol, they wanted to promote this French ideal of freedom and liberty and equality and a slight revolutionary spirit, especially when they are being held in Paris. And so they created some personified Phrygian caps, one representing the regular games and the other representing the Paralympic Games. So I hope you found this detail interesting, and I will probably talk at greater length about the Phrygian cap in a future video. But until then, I tip my hat to you. <laughs>